Hey there, boys and girls. It's Miss Peppers. I hope you guys are having a super fun field day. We're going to do a little drawing together to celebrate. So let's get started. For this drawing, you will need something to draw with and a white piece of paper. I recommend that everyone uses a pencil with an eraser for the drawing part. And then at the end, you can outline it with marker and color it in with crayon. Um, I'm gonna be using a Sharpie today just so that you guys can see my lines. If I used pencil, it would be hard for you to see what I'm drawing. So to go along with this year's field day theme of superhero, we're gonna draw our own Lamar superhero. You can make it a boy or a girl and you can add any kind of details in the background that you wish. I'm just gonna help you get started with the character drawing. So when you draw a character drawing, it's kind of cartoonish looking. So the head is gonna be a little bit bigger and the body will be smaller. So we're gonna get started with the eyes. You can put it in the middle of your paper or you can have it offset to the right or left so that you can create a cool background. Um, I have my paper oriented landscape right now. If you would like to do a portrait, you can. I just feel like landscape gives you a little bit more room to create a cool background. So I'm not gonna put it directly in the center. I'm gonna scoot it off to the left a little bit. So I'm gonna start right here with the character's eyes. So draw two circles for the eyes. Inside of those circles, you're gonna draw two more tiny circles in both of the eyes and then you're going to color in with whatever you're using crayon marker pencil if you're using pencil I would wait to color this in with black crayon or black marker color in everything except for the two circles leaving a shiny spot in the eyes or a reflection of the light and then we're going to add two more circles around the eyes now we're going to start with the eyebrows to give him kind of a fierce look because he is a superhero he or she whatever you want to make so when I get to the hair part if you want to make a girl uh, you'll just add different hair so I'll let you know when I'm getting started on that we're gonna draw the face around him so start right about neck right next to the eyes and go down and over Now we're going to add, and remember, I'm drawing a boy, so here is where I'm adding hair. If you want to add um, girl hair, you would start here at the hairline and go down here. You could make braids. You could put it in a ponytail and swoop it up like this. I'll give you all a few examples here. So if you're doing girl hair and you have your face right here, you might not see the ears, whereas you would see the ears with shorter hair. So if I'm making braids, I'm gonna part the hair, add the bangs, if there's bangs, swoop it over and then come down. And that would be the top of the hair. And for braids, I usually do just X's. And then hair tie. There you go. If you want to do it up, you would go. You might still see some bangs or those little flyaways, but most of it would be swiping up. Imagine where you want your scrunchie or your hair tie and add lines going up. I'm going to make a bun bun and that would be girl hair you could make. And now if the hair is up, you might see a little bit of the ears and a few little wispy flyaways. I call them flyaways. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my superhero little boy. And I'm using a Sharpie pen because the details of the eyes and the face were so small. 
Okay, we are going to make marks. We're not actually going to draw a realistic nose. So I'm just gonna make a little mark for the nose. And the mouth, I'm gonna show some emotion like he's kind of like we did with the eyes. So I make a, I'm not gonna make a straight symmetrical line. I'm just going to go kind of like he's smiling over here, but then he's grinning over there. Like he has something in his mind. Here we go. Now we're gonna add a little bit of the ears that you see. Don't make them too big. Now I'm gonna add the little boy's hair. We're gonna go up and around and make a little curl. And teachers, feel free to pause at any time pause the video so that people can catch up or if I'm going too fast for some grade levels because I am doing this video for all grades we might just need to pause a little, little bit for the younger grades so I'm gonna make a little part line right there that's where his hair is going to end at the top of his head it's gonna kind of come down here so I start there and go down start there at the part and go down the other way if you want to make a few detail lines. Okay. So that was the hard part. The rest is very, very simple. Okay. So we're going to start with the body. And remember, it's going to be much smaller than the head. So we start at the neck. And just kind of come down. And that's his whole body. There's his pants leg. It's going to look shorter on this side because he's going to be kind of in action. There's his other pants leg, and then it goes back up. And then we're going to have a foot going, pointing that way, and a foot pointing straight right here. And because of the way that he's standing or it looks like we're a camera looking at the top of him this foot is going to appear bigger because this foot is further back okay so we'll have our superhero with his arm up right here now we're going to draw an oval Like he's like, yeah, here I go. I'm gonna save the world. Okay, I would just draw lines. So we're getting off very easy, not having to draw the details of the hand. Hands are very hard. Okay. Now we'll add a little loop for his suit, superhero suit. And then this arm Let's make this arm bent like he's has his hand on his hip. So it's going to start small right here and get bigger as it goes out. We can add a little loop for his, like maybe his hand is in his pocket right there. Kind of looks like that. Okay. So now we're going to add his cape. His cape is coming back here from his neck, behind his neck, back. And then it's going to go behind his arm so don't draw the line on top of the arm you're gonna go behind and if you want to kind of give it a wave I won't see it right here I might see a little bit right here and then ooh. okay now we're gonna make it go connect and go behind this foot right here so let's go ahead and add that line so we know where to stop and then you just connect the lines. I am gonna add a point and then uh, go straight down. So I go to the point and then a wave. Woo! There we go. Add a point and go woo! And connect. I'm trying to see, my hand was in the way. All right, so we're gonna add a few lines. He's gonna be wearing his superhero underwear, so. There's the band. Okay. 
It's his little jumpsuit or whatever. There's his shorts. And now we're going to add the logo. It's going to look like Superman, but we're going to add an L for Lamar because we are making a Lamar superhero. Now I'm just bringing these two to a point. And instead of adding an S, we're going to add an L. So first draw an L, capital L. You can leave it like that or upper grades if y'all want to add a bubble letter, just make it thicker like this and repeat a smaller L and connect. All right, so we have our superhero. Now, if you would like to add a background, you can um, add whatever you'd like. I would finish your drawing first and then um, outline with marker and color it in lightly with crayon. I am going to add a horizon line unless your superhero is flying in the air, which he could be. But a horizon line is where the sky meets the ground. Or if you're inside and looking like at a kitchen or in a living room, it would be where the kitchen table meets the ground or the wallpaper meets the floor. But here's my line. It just grounds your object that you drew and you stop. You don't go straight through him and you pick up where you left off, try to imagine where, you, where your line would be and then pull it all the way across your page. And now he's standing on the ground. So sometimes at uh, field day, we have like a bounce house or something. So I'm gonna draw one. You can follow me or if you want to veer off and do your own thing and add your own details, that's fine. Now also back to the horizon line, there could be multiple horizon lines. Um, you could see a horizon line right here and then maybe there's a horizon line back there where the back gate is or the fence of the playground but I'm gonna draw a bounce house right here I'm gonna draw a little um, castle house so we're gonna do a triangle but it's not gonna have the points are gonna be a little bit rounded the edges so up here that's the top here's the flag for one castle to come down a little bit this one's going to go down but not all the way i'm going to draw the same thing on the other side flag it's going to come down on the inside a little bit a little bit longer on the outside to save room for the bottom part base of the castle. It's going to be very rounded because bounce houses are full of air. There's not there's not really perfect corners. They just look big fluff look like big fluffy marshmallows. Okay. So the spot that you climb in is going to be in the middle and it's going to have like a puffy edge. So we're going to draw the puffy edge. This is where you jump in. Try to draw the same line on the other side. And then those lines that help you to climb in to the bounce house. And then we have, we can connect these lines now. Connect this all the way. Let's see. Okay, now we're gonna have the entrance that you climb into, entrance to the castle. It's going to be an archway like this. Now round it at the bottom and then just follow your line. There we go. Okay, now you're going to add, we're gonna add, we wanna make this look a little three-dimensional so we're gonna add a second triangle behind the first one it's gonna be a little bit shorter and then you'll only see this part right here now we're gonna add this one the 
fourth triangle behind. Oops, I made that the same height. And then you'll just see a little bit. Actually, you'll see the whole thing. So draw that all the way down. Now right here, we're gonna start adding the bricks. Kind of like a sand castle. Okay. You can draw kids hanging out inside of there. Um, you could add, let's add a flag at the top. We'll add a flag. Okay, so for a big wavy flag in the air, I'm going to have, I'm just going to do an arch to start it off. We're going to go, whoop, stop there. Now we're going to make that thick. So follow the same line. It's going to be parallel to that line. To make it easier and more steady, I lay my hand, this part of my hand, on the paper and I just drag. It's easier to make a straight line when you pull your pen across the page. Okay, so right here we'll put Lamar Field Day 2022 and then close the flag right here. And right here, we're going to make it waving. So that top line on this side and on this side, we're going to do the same thing on each side. We're gonna do like an S curve. So come down, curve, and curve. Do the same thing on the other side. Come, keep that line going straight. Come down, curve, and curve. And then you stop. Okay. Okay, I did not do that right, but that's okay. We're gonna go on because when we make mistakes, we don't make a big deal about them. We just keep on moving on. So I should have curved it for first before I added that bottom line. So we'll go and pull that line straight down right here and connect. And I already have an idea of how I'm going to problem solve around that mistake. So do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to save this for a cool star or something like it was supposed to be there. Okay, so on this S curve, you pull this line and go straight down. It's gonna be behind, so we can't see that part. It's part of the ribbon flapping in the wind. This one over here, do the same thing, pull it straight down. And then there's parts that we can't see, so we're gonna add the end of the ribbon. Sometimes really nice ribbon is cut into a little V to keep it from unthreading. Okay, and then you go straight back there, behind. We're finished with that side. Do the same thing to this side. Make your end of your ribbon V, and then pull it straight back in. If it curves a little bit, then you curve a little bit on this side too, because it's connected. And we'll add a little texture, some just some texture lines to back of that ribbon so we can see that's the back of it you could add dots you could add um, whatever okay so I'm gonna add my two stars on either side you can color them in if you followed me you probably made the same mistake I did all right now we're just gonna add Lamar field day 2022 um, to center that you you would have to kind of think through it first. Lamar Field Day 2022. So there's four parts to that verbiage. Um, so field and day would be the middle parts. And then Lamar over here, 2022 over here. A lot of times I can just eyeball it, but if I'm doing a very big project, I count my spaces like count each character letter including spaces and then divide it by two to find the center point of your words that way your if you're making a huge banner it's not off-centered okay so I'm just gonna write field day first since that's the middle I'll start day right here you can use whatever type of writing or text that you'd like I'm gonna do all caps. I E L 
see. But the first word, the first letter to my words will be a little bit bigger. 2022. I'm gonna write it a little bit bigger. And an exclamation mark. Okay, now this is kind of just floating in the air. You could add swings in the background. You could add, like I was talking about earlier, the second horizon line. You could add the second horizon line back here and draw that fence with the trees. So I'm gonna double that line. So just add a parallel line. And this is the gate. So I'll make my cross lines this way, and then I'll crisscross it this way. That's the gate or the fence um, to the playground, the back fence. Now I'm not doing these lines perfect. I'm just, because it is background information. So in the background, you can get away with just suggestive lines and not attention to specific tiny details because it's so far away you shouldn't be able to see those details. So really if I painted this in the end and I wanted to paint trees back there, I would just do splotches of color. Whereas the details on this character would be in the foreground so you would see more of the detail. Okay, there you have it boys and girls. Here is our superhero field day drawing. I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.